BTS Suga is officially canceled. Hey guys, and welcome back to the video. Today, I am honestly not that excited because I have to talk about this topic yet again because there's been a couple of updates that I want to just kind of address and get my opinions across on, and that is BTS's Suga's controversy. Currently, his controversy is something that is blowing up, especially because people are so hardcore rooting for BTS's downfall. Like, I know for a fact people are sitting here, they're eating it up, they have their freaking popcorn ready, and they're like, this is going to destroy them. I'm so excited a first member to leave you know they're so excited for that crap and I'm just kind of sitting here like <laughs> what is happening I am so confused because I don't understand like okay first I'll give you guys a recap the whole controversy is that BTS Sugar was found in front of his apartment or house or whatever the heck completely blasted and he was riding an e-scooter around and he was impaired and if you guys did not know in korea and in the u.s it is illegal to ride an e-scooter while impaired because it's considered a vehicle um just because of how fast it can go and all that other stuff you guys get me it's a vehicle and so he ended up getting a dui and people are going absolutely insane about it on top of that he unfortunately lied and said that he actually had one beer in reality his blood Breather, breatherizer breather okay breatherizer test concluded that he actually had an alcohol percentage of 0.227 which is seven times more the alcohol limit in korea which i think is absolutely insane he got lit that night but i want to kind of get into the nitty-gritty of this people are calling him an alcoholic and absolutely insane and saying that because he had experience allegedly drinking on stage that he is now a confirmed alcoholic he also has a lot of like mental health issues that have been displayed over a period of time where he struggles with his mental health and people are absolutely berating him for the experiences that he has gone through as his time as an idol which i think is incredibly unfair especially because like he is a 31 year old man and i think at some point in time you know you kind of question how much life that these idols are able to live and experience and I think being in the military, he kind of has like the freedom and the time to truly take care of himself and focus on himself, get lit, have fun, go to parties. He's probably in a pit bull era and y'all are calling him an alcoholic, which it's totally possible, right? Like it's possible. But at the same time, like you're acting like we all in our 20s and 30s don't go out and drink and have fun. And you have to think about how deprived these idols are on the daily basis of having fun in the first place. And I also want to mention the fact that like, because of this controversy, some of the members are now getting wrapped in even further. One of them being Jungkook. Jungkook was actually um, apparently live streaming at some point and drinking and then he fell asleep on live stream. And like people are saying that like um, Jungkook is also possibly an alcoholic and that he has alcoholism. And I think we're kind of, you know, creating a narrative that I do it's not appropriate at the end of the day if like big hit or the members themselves don't make a statement about issues that they have i don't think it's appropriate to assume that they're going through something as intense as that and on top of that we are kind of forgetting that we don't know these idols personally and to make those assumptions is just not okay um i'm just going to assume based off of what um sugar has said himself that he was just out got too lit and at the end of the day drove an e-scooter when he was not supposed to a lot of netizens are calling for him to be removed from the group and I feel like this is definitely an overstep and this is so dramatic because we're acting as if like in the U.S. college students don't get lit and ride e-scooters on campuses. I don't think it's good to do obviously you can get a DUI for it you can hurt yourself or other people so like you shouldn't do it but like college students do it all the time in the U.S. and <laughs> we're not I'm not gonna sit here and act like a freaking saint like if I did not get lit enough would I ride an e-scooter I most likely would and it's just because like we all know once you're drunk everything seems fun to you I don't think it's responsible to do it whatsoever you can get a DUI on it for a reason you can totally end up in a lake you can totally end up hitting a car you can totally run over another person like there's so many things that can happen on an e-scooter but I'm not gonna lie you go to ASU's campus and then you'll see a ton of drunk people on e-scooters you go to Mill Avenue ton of drunk people on e-scooters you go to Tempe Town Lake ton of drunk people on e-scooters there's consequences for it for a reason he got fined for a reason he is probably going to get his license revoked for a reason he is going to have other consequences for a reason we are not as just viewers of this experience supposed to have our own 
courtroom like i feel like we're constantly in a state of trying to cancel and regulate idols but that is not our job at the end of the day if his company is supporting him through it and they actually find ways to help him that's all that we can ask for i'm not even a stan of bts but i feel like if you really cared about idols mental health and you care about them as human beings rather than trying to bring out your pitchforks you would be concerned of like okay like so is he okay right i wouldn't label him as anything i would just be like okay so like is he okay you know what are the what is the company doing to support him in this moment Obviously, the company didn't do much because their PR team sucks and they ended up actually doing a wrong translation and screwing everything over, making it seem like they were trying to downplay things. But in reality, it was just a mistranslation because they didn't understand what word to use. And like, that's the problem. Like, there's no room for mistakes with things like that. I don't want to downplay the situation myself because I do think that there's natural consequences to your actions. And what I'm saying about the whole college student thing is like, of course, if a college student got a DUI on a freaking e-scooter, they would probably be like, that was kind of stupid, kind of funny and kind of and that's it. And like, I don't think it's good to promote. Right. But he wasn't promoting it. He just got caught doing it. (laughs) If he has a problem with drinking, shouldn't you also want them to just get help straight up? And not damage his mental health more by trying to, you know, completely remove him from a group that he worked so hard to be in over the past, like, couple of years. Like, let's be for real. If you were to go outside right now, right, and you would see a drunk person on an e-scooter, I highly freaking doubt you would get so angry that you would want to, like, completely destroy their whole career and their well-being. I highly doubt that. But because it's a BTS issue, it's like, oh, no. Yeah, fuck that man. He completely ruined the career of BTS. He didn't harm anyone. He didn't harm any property. And he didn't even harm himself. But he needs to be removed. He is a huge issue. Okay. Okay. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't even. There's nothing else for me to say about this issue because I think it's actually that stupid. I would definitely recommend you guys to comment down below, like the video. Let's have a discussion. I'm so curious about how other people are thinking about this issue and the situation. Like, just yeah. Bye.